Good morning. High school's over, and I still can't believe it. Just went in, got caps and gowns and stuff, and had breakfast and then a cookout outside. It was nice to see everybody and shake everybody's hand, say goodbye. But uh, hey, we're on to summer now. It's beautiful out here. Uh, I'm headed downtown. Then I'm going to go back, do some mowing this afternoon, and friggin' right, hit the pool tomorrow. That's right, it's Memorial Day weekend already. I think Sunday is going to be the best day this weekend. Ken and family can get to the pool. Monday should be good. Saturday is going to be a little slow. Mowing my lawn at my grandfather's house tomorrow. He can't do it. He had surgery on his hand, so he can't mow for five days. So I'm going to do that for him tomorrow. And then he and I will go to the pool, but he can't swim, so he'll just be me, but whatever. Can you say plastic? All right, then. It's uh, 1210, and I just came in to... Relax a little bit, get something to drink. It's another gorgeous day out there. Should open all the windows in the house, but it's supposed to get up to 88 degrees today and then I won't be able to sleep because it'll be too hot. So here's the plan. I've kind of got two yards that need to be done. I've got the mulching next door that needs to be done. I said I was gonna do that Wednesday. Wednesday didn't work, yesterday was busy, so I'm hoping to get over there tonight, late, late afternoon rather. And then I might uh, water here a little bit. It's like 30% chance of rain Saturday, Sunday, Monday, scattered thunder showers. Uh, but we should still be able to get some cool pool time in there. Cannot wait to get back to the pool, see how many laps I can do underwater. Um, I've got that Kodak waterproof camera that I used last year. You guys remember that? That little red one that I would take in the pool sometimes. And I remember at the end of the season last year, I had some problems. It should be thrown in this drawer full of auxiliary wires. There it is. I think I was going to take it to California, but I didn't. See if it's even got a charge. Is that the power button? Yes, it is the power button, but nothing's happening, which means I need to charge it up. But I've got an SD card for it, and... I mean, well, anyways, I thought at the end of the season last year, I would have a problem where the audio wouldn't work, like, all the time. So I don't know if the microphone got screwed up. Maybe there was just water in it when I was trying to do it. But I think I'm going to try that this year, or maybe Saturday. It's just going to be me in the water Saturday. I'm not going to have anybody else to go with, which sucks. But Sunday, Sunday we'll have everybody there, which will be cool. So here's the thing. Now I have time. I don't need to spend hours and hours and hours at school every day. And I don't need to get up at 7.45 in the morning anymore, which is good. So I'll probably take a couple days to catch up on my sleep schedule. We'll get the yards done. We'll get to the pool. And remember how I was talking a couple weeks ago about how I wanted to get all the stuff done around here at the house? So when pool time came, I could go and chill at the pool all day. Well, I've got 99% of that done. The screens are done, the windows are done, the spoutings are done, the landscaping's done here, aside from the weekly mowing and watering that I'm going to have to do. Um, it's going to be minor work out here on the patio. My mom's already got a lot of stuff planted out in the other gardens and whatnot. I've got like another bag and a half of mulch I need to do, and she's actually done most of the weeding back here when I've been at school. Now there's still a bunch of crap on that side, but this side's pretty much done. So. That's good. So really it's just a matter of that mulch work next door that um, isn't part of the usual work and then we're good. So now that I've got school off my shoulders, I can start to focus on 2419 and 338. And let me assure you, that's going to be awesome. Back to the trimming. You know, I said I wasn't going to trim at that house that I did a couple days ago and I actually didn't have to. So I'm going to try to do the same thing over here across the street. But the problem may be there's some places where the mower doesn't fit in between the mailboxes and that pine tree, the mower doesn't fit there. Unless I take the catcher off and blow grass everywhere. Um, but I'm going to go over there and just mow, and then if I have to take the trimmer over and trim around any lawn furniture or stuff, I will. So it's 12.13, I'll start that by 12.30, and I hope to be done with that by 1.30, which gives me the rest of the afternoon to maybe do some mulching, lay it on the backyard, get rid of my farmer's tan. How embarrassing is that? I'm always out wearing a shirt. I spent a lot of time outside, and quite frankly, I haven't been topless this year, aside from last Sunday at my dad's pool, so I'll have to get out there and work on that this weekend. I have males here, and I got the mowing done over there. I just talked to my neighbor, who I've been doing the mulch for, and she doesn't. She wants me to mow it a little higher, and she told me not to worry about it this weekend. It's going to be too hot, so that's nice. I'll be able to go over there Tuesday when it's supposed to be like 73. That'll be perfect. And, and mow it at a higher height that won't take as much grass off. It'll be easy on me. And I didn't have to trim over there, which was nice. I just took the catcher off the mower and went in between some pine trees. So that's all done. I've got to go over there uh, this afternoon and get paid. Go over there for an hour, work on mulch, and then I'm done with work for the day. What the hell? Can you guys see the car that is ahead of this Volvo up here? It's a Honda Accord. 
Can you see the emblem below the, uh, the middle brake light there? Huh. I don't think the camera can pick it up, but that's a BMW badge on an Accord. Nice. We've gotten a little closer. Can you see it yet? Oh my god, 93 degrees. It's way too hot and humid to not be in a pool. Um, I got both those yards done. I did an hour of mulching, and I thought I was going to have a heart attack. Took a freezing cold shower, had a popsicle. Then I had to go to the bank. I've got AC on. It. I can't take this weather when I'm not at the pool. This sucks. One of the first ones I have seen uh, around. I've seen a few. But, uh, yeah, that's a Chevy Volt. Wow. That is old. It's manual. It's in pretty rough shape, but cool to see. Damn, those rims and tinted windows on that look really nice. Freaking right. GT3 RS, ladies and gentlemen. Damn near looks like it's got slicks on it. Not the biggest Porsche fan here, but that thing is probably fast. Yeah, that is nice. Not a fan of the black rims, but I guess it does go with this color scheme. Notice the hood. It's a uh, M3 wannabe. Notice the hood. It's an M3. The 330 has a trunk lid spoiler. The M5 does, and the M3 doesn't. Dumbass. The E60 3650i is a manual. That's one of the first E63s I've ever seen with a manual. It's got a big-ass sunroof. Nice wheels and... There's Jack! Classy as frig. Alright guys, we're gonna film this Lex. Oh, there it is. Fiat 500 Abarth. Uh, cool. Not something I'd buy. How about you, Jack? Uh, never. Never, exactly. But I think Kenan would, because he uh, really likes the new Fiats. Oh, uh, look at this guy just cocking over the whole program! Downtown Hudson! Jesus Christ! All right, boys, 10 o'clock. We have a Bentley Flying Spur downtown here, which you won't be able to see because of the flights, the flips, poor light reception. But uh, there she be. It's only 12.38 in the morning, and uh, I'm actually really tired. Um, last clip I think I filmed was downtown. We saw that Flying Spur, the GT3 RS, 6 Series, bunch of cool cars today. And I'm going to wrap the day up right now. It was productive. It was busy. I mowed two yards today, I got my mulching done, it was a good day all in all and I'm going to come out here and do my routine basic maintenance uh, and sprinkled a little bit today so I'm going to clean my window off. Just enough I had to turn the wipers on and I hate driving and you can see where the wiper is clean and you know there's that, there's that line like, that goes like this and then this part is dirty and you can just see that and I don't know I have problems with that I don't like seeing the dirt on the windshield it makes me think the whole car is dirty and it really isn't and it was very little rain not enough that got splattered up on the sides or anything but I may clean that too so that's gonna be it and I gotta put air in my back tire because it keeps giving me a tire defect thing on the dash so I'll do those two things go inside I got 10 videos in the WLP watch letter playlist I'm probably only gonna get to one or two of those tonight which is fine because I don't have a whole lot to do anymore. Now that school's over, it's going to be awesome. Pool time and chilling here and, and uh, with the boys. So it should be great. Tomorrow, Saturday, mowing the yard at the grandparents' house. We'll go to lunch and then go hit, the, hit up the pool for a few hours. But Sunday's the day I'm looking forward to. It's a 50% chance of rain now, but whatever. We'll deal with it. It's going to be hot. Pool or feel good no matter what. So talk to you guys tomorrow on Saturday night.